you know, honestly, there's a lot of days that I still miss James Yeager. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and I want to talk about what makes a good instructor. Now, right at the outset, uh, this might be a little bit biased because of course I like to teach people how to use guns. So maybe, you know, I'm just being a little bit biased or slanted or whatever here. Been thinking about this the past, you know, 24, 48 hours, whatever. And uh, what makes a good instructor, a good shooting instructor specifically, right? And I think it kind of boils down in my mind to two things, one of which is pretty obvious. You need to know how to shoot, right? I mean, if you can't shoot effectively, it's gonna be very hard to demonstrate drills, it's gonna be very hard to show them, it's gonna be very hard to teach someone how to do a sport thing if you can't accomplish the very basics of that sport, right? Every basketball coach in the world, uh, up to professional athletes, can shoot a basketball. Are they necessarily the best, the best basketball shooter? No, of course not, right? That's what we have professionals for. Probably getting a little far ahead of myself. We'll come back to that. So they need to have the base requisite skills, right? They need to be good enough. I don't necessarily know what that is, but they need to be good enough. Now the second thing, and the much more important thing in my mind, is they need to be an effective teacher, right? They need to be an effective communicator. It does not matter how good I can shoot if I can't help you get better, right? And teaching and shooting are different skill sets. I might come as a surprise to some people. Different skill sets, right? Just because you're good at something, shooting, uh, construction, basketball, whatever, it doesn't really matter, pick it, okay? Just because you're good at that thing doesn't mean that therefore you can teach it. That's why colleges are full of professors who are completely inept teachers, because they have their doctorate and they do some super fancy study, but they're horrible communicators, right? And so they can't teach worth a damn but they're good at what they do, so we hire them as a teacher. So you need to understand that teaching is a different skill set than shooting. Just because someone can shoot really well does not necessarily mean they are a good teacher. Now, are there still things you can learn from them and, and all that kind of thing? Yeah, sure, of course, obviously, because they're really good and people who are really good at something and you're not, there's a gap there and hopefully you can learn to close that gap. But for them to reach down right and pull you up is it, it requires a teaching skill. It also requires a teaching skill for them to reach down, pull you up, and then push you above them, right? It, like, there, it does not matter at the end of the day how good or I can or can't shoot. As long as I'm that base level good enough, right, where again, whatever that means, that I can show you the drill, that you can conceptually understand what I'm trying to explain, that I'm able to show you the technique or the whatever, that's what matters. And then from there, it's my job to stand there next to you, watch you do it, say, no, 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 fix this, do that, how'd that feel, let's talk about this. Oh my God, look at that, you did what I said, and now your group shrunk, and your speed increased, and, and whatever, right? Whatever it is that we're trying to work on, that's whatever that is. And then it's another skill set, right? To reach down and pick someone up and bring them up to your level, and then continue to shove them beyond your level, right? To make people better shooters than me. That's my goal. Again, it doesn't matter how good I can, can or cannot shoot. What matters is, can I make you better? And that's really how I look at it as an instructor. And honestly, that's how I look at it as a student when I go to people's classes, right? If someone spends a lot of time demoing and name dropping and, and showing me how fast they are, I'm like, okay, I mean, that's cool and I'm glad you're fast, but that's not necessarily helping me get that fast, right? What I want from an instructor when I go take classes is how are you gonna make me better? Right? And so when I teach classes, it's my job to show it, you know, show it a couple times, two, three times, whatever, enough so that you conceptually understand what you're trying to do. And then I stand there and then I watch you do it, you know, and I say, oh, no, no, you know, your draw's a little hinkety hankety, whatever, you're, you need to clean up this efficiency, you know, and then your groups go like this and your speed goes up and everything gets better, right? And that's the point. That's what a good instructor, in my opinion, does is we're here to help make people better. Wherever you're at on the, the field, the journey, right? To pull you up a couple rungs, and then like I said, if you're already as good as me or you're better than me, to push you further than me. That's the point, that you would be a better shooter at the end of that eight hours, four hours, 24 hours, whatever, however long the class is, that you'd be a better shooter at the end than you were at the beginning. And I think that the number one skill required there is teaching or communication or instructing or however we want to phrase that. It's not my shooting ability. It's just not. Th this channel is a lot of me talking because hopefully you would look at that and you would say, yes, Dylan is an effective communicator. The way he, he's able to communicate things clicks with my brain, I understand what he's saying and I'm able to follow him. Yeah, that would make a good instructor. Or, oh my God, this guy can't talk for anything. Uh, I would never go see him, right? And then your mind's made up because you understand my communication style and how I would talk. So, next time you wanna go see an instructor, 
try to find out how they communicate, right? And if, and if they have some socials or whatever, that's a good way to kind of check that out, right? But try to understand how are, what, how are they on teaching? Not necessarily where are their skills at, although again, you need to have a base level. Whatever that exactly means for you, they need to have that base level of skill. But again, the more important question is, how are they effectively teaching and communicating that? How are they effectively making people better? How, how are they able to transfer that concept over to someone? How's their coaching ability for their ability to stand there and be like, nope, you, you shifted your grip a quarter of an inch, I saw that, and so that's why you, you threw your shot, right? Like, how are they able to do that? That is one of the most important things. And I've had really good instructors who do that very well, and I've gone to some really bad instructors who haven't done that very well and are just crappy communicators. Might be great shooters, but crappy communicators, right? And so that, that's what you're looking for at the end of the day. So I hope that's helpful for you in thinking about how do we evaluate these instructors and how do we evaluate who I should go spend my money on? How, how do we figure that out? What's, what makes a good instructor? And I just think, again, we need to talk more and more about teaching. Teaching is what makes a good instructor, not necessarily shooting or, or how good or smooth or quick or whatever they are. And every once in a while you find people, right, that, that can bring those magical things together. And that's, of course, you know, where you want to be at. So hope that's helpful. Hope that gives you something to think about. Do brave deeds and endure.